Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, and we're going to go back up to the great white north with some power rankings. We all know that uh, the center of gravity for the Hells Angels global empire right now, uh, all that power runs through Quebec, I guess also through Ontario, I would say through Canada, because we can't forget Nurgit, the really the godfather. Uh, Walter Stadnick's out in Hamilton, but the day-to-day power is really through Quebec right now. And I did a top 10 Hell's Angel Quebec power ranking. And we're going to go 10 through 1, the 10 most powerful Hell's Angels shot callers in Quebec. And it's mostly split between Montreal and Quebec City, not surprisingly. All right, let's start... uh, Number 10, we got two guys tied, Mario Auger, Mario Bananas, Sergeant of Arms of the Quebec City, Hells Angels, and Giles Lambert, OG, Montreal Hells Angel. Uh, Mario would probably be higher on this list if he wasn't in prison right now or in jail right now fighting a uh, drug and gangsterism case. Um, Goes all the way back to the the, uh, great Quebec biker war of uh, the, the 90s. Giles Lambert is, you know, some of the Hells Angels, Quebec Brasses. You know, one of the Hells Angels, Quebec Brasses, you know, top advisors. Goes back to Rock Machine and a guy that uh, does a lot of liaisoning with uh, other groups on behalf of the Hells Angels is in Montreal. Number nine, uh, this guy, we could call him the Prince, Matt Pelletier, the, uh, the Prince of the Quebec City. Hells Angels chapter it came up with the Red Devils, patched into the uh, Q City Hells Angels four or five years ago. His dad is the undisputed godfather, founding founding father of Quebec City Hells Angels, Big Tom. Uh, and Matt Pelletier, a relatively young guy, was the guy that was doing most of the go-between with the Blood Family Mafia uh, and Ice Pick Tremel before um, they erupted into war in March of 2023. A uh, Fess Ploof, who is Marty Robert's right-hand man, Montreal, Hells Angels, kind of um, the eyes and ears on the street for the top boss in Quebec, Marty Robert, uh, that's Fess Ploof. Um, Number seven, uh, we got Elaine Harton Judas, Another founding father of the Quebec City Hells Angels, even though he is, you know, semi-retired, still holds quite a bit of power and juice um, with that uh, Q City faction. Uh, number six, we just talked about him. And we've been talking a lot about Quebec City in this uh, in this back five. Uh, Mark Pelletier, Big Tom. You know, this guy. When you think of Quebec City Hells Angels, this is the Look it up uh, in the dictionary. You can see a picture of Big Tom Pelletier. Um, and, you know, <laughs> the guy, reputation precedes him anywhere he goes in 81 Nation around the world, not just uh, in Canada. Brings us to our top five, number five. And and uh, three of these five, or I'd say all these five are Montreal. Uh, three of these five are North Shore. Two of them are South Shore. Number five, Rob Barletta, Teflon Rob. Uh, sports gambling um, whiz, a guy that has been in leadership posts in uh, Ontario before coming to Montreal a couple years ago, um, out of uh, London, Ontario, as well as Niagara. He is now firmly ensconced in Marty Robert's inner circle uh, and helping him fight the war against the uh, Rizzutos and the Blood Family Mafia. Number Four, uh, the reputed war general of of this uh, conflict, at least in the Montreal conflict against the Rizzuto mob, Marvin Wamet, a.k.a. Casper the Ghost, just came out of prison um, about a year ago and hit the ground running. Um, Force of nature, Casper is. uh, Is just a guy that uh, strikes fear wherever he goes and just holds a lot of weight in, in 81 Nation. Number three, uh, Salvatore Cazetta, Sam the Beard, 
you know, another definition of an OG, founder of the Rock Machine, eventually patched over into the Hells Angels, very close at one time to Vito to the Rizzuto clan, Vito Rizzuto, um, and is one of the two final say uh, in terms of South Shore, Montreal, Hells Angel activity today. Number two, uh, Mikhail Skylingua, who is the godfather of the South Shore of Montreal. He's the one who um, started it all. Uh, was uh, started the Hells Angels in Montreal in 1977. And uh, they call him Sky because he's a pilot and he's been troubleshooting quite a bit in the last month or two with all the violence on the uh, eastern part of Quebec. Uh, we're told that he flew into a meeting um, after uh, the 14-year-old was found dead in Frampton. And that brings us to number one, Marty Robert, uh, most powerful Biker boss on a day-to-day -day basis in the world still, you know, has to give the nod to Nurgit and 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 uh, in Hamilton, but on a day-to-day, -day, Marty Robert has the most juice on the planet when it comes to being a biker boss, and uh, it just there's no one else that really compares. Uh, Tommy O with the Outlaws would probably be uh, uh, number two, but. You know, Marty's at a level all by himself, and that's why he's number one. Hells Angels, Quebec Power Rankings, Fall 2024. Please like, share, subscribe, OG Pod. Uh, check out our companion web magazine, The Gangster Report. Uh, hit up our Patreon, where we kind of do a little bit different content, a little bit more analytical. Some of it's not always related to LCN. That's over on the Patreon, but uh, keep with us here at OG Pod on YouTube. We're breaking news on a regular basis, uncovering the underworld, one breaking story at a time. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out. Mm -hmm.